Hi girls, so I realize I have a different background. It's part of my room, but I am going to film my everyday makeup tutorial or like my everyday makeup routine, I guess. So um, I don't have on any makeup right now and I'm not going to film what I do foundation wise because of that I will be posting a different video showing you that very soon. So let's just get started with the eyes. Okay, sometimes starting off I take Bobbi Brown Sandy Gold Longwear Cream Eyeliner, but that's usually when I do more elaborate makeup. So instead I'm going to take this Clinique, this is 285 Toasted Almonds, and then I'm going to take my Eco Tools Eyeshadow Brush and just pat this on the brush and then put a little bit on my eye and just all over the lid up to the brow and there we go same on the other eye and then if I want a little more sparkle I would take this Beauty Rush Shadow Duo and this is from Victoria's Secret and I would take this color and just apply a little bit of that on to the lid more focusing on the bottom part and that's if I wanted a little more sparkle so sometimes I choose to do that then I'm going to take this little Almay palette and the color in the middle is what I typically use in my crease because it's darker or you could or I sometimes take this CoverGirl palette and take this color over here because it's like a brownish but I'm going to take the out my color just a little bit on my Eco Tool brush and put that in my crease. And you can work it up as well because um, then when you put the highlight color, you can always blend that. And then I'll take it and do the same for the other side. Okay, and then my highlight color, I take Shroom by MAC. And I still use my Eco Tools brush. I love the Eco Tools brushes. I can do like a review on them if you guys want me to. And take a little bit of that and put it as a highlight by the brow. Now I know my brows are really bushy right now. That's because I haven't gotten them waxed recently. But I think I'm getting them sometime. Like, I think I'm getting them them next weekend. Well, whatever. And so I'm just going to kind of, you can blend that with the darker color. And there you go. And then I'm going to take Smashbox Bliss and still using the eyeshadow brush from Eco Tools. Just take a little bit of that, put it on my brush, and I'm going to put it in my inner corner, corner, a corner, uh, like that and we just want a little bit to kind of um, highlight the eye a little more and I love this color it has so many uses it's a great base color as well great base for your eye shadows there. and then I'm going to take the Eco Tools eyeliner brush and I'm going to take that out of my palette again. Upside down. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to take the dark color again. And put a little bit of that on my eyeliner brush. I was about to say shadow. And put this on my bottom lash line. And there we go. Just a little bit on the bottom. I don't wear bottom eyeliner and I feel like this kind of um, is like bottom eyeliner but doing it in a different kind of way there we go and then for my eyeliner on the top sometimes I do that if I just want a little bit otherwise I would take this soft coal eyeliner pencil by Rimmel London and this is a brown color and it is in 011 Sable Brown. I know you can't read it, but I'll put the info below, by the way. And then I'm just going to take this and apply this. To 
to just my upper lash line. As you guys can probably tell, I'm sick. And there we go. There's one eye, and I'll do the same for the other. Okay, and then sometimes I take this and put a little bit on my bottom lash line. That is um, something that I do some of the time. Then I'm going to take my eyelash curler, and this is a really basic routine, if you guys haven't noticed. And just curl my eyelashes. And then I do two different mascaras just to get a um, better effect, I think. So I take this Glam Eyes Day to Night Rimmel London Mascara. And here's the volume brush. Here's the length brush. I'm going to take the length brush. And this just helps kind of get my eyelashes, um, make them longer. And then I'll put on some volumizing stuff. And this kind of um, declumps them as well. Alright. Then I'm just going to take this L'Oreal mascara. I know this is still in stores. I love this. And this is also in stores. Look at how nicely that goes right on the brush. Love this. And... Make them look as even as possible. And then sometimes I like to curl them a little more after I have on my mascara. And the declumper from this Eco Tool set, whoops, can't go that way. This thing, the top part is such, it's so good at getting clumps out of mascara. It makes your mascara look perfect. Otherwise, you can take an old mascara brush and clean off all the mascara. Like this one. And let's find it like this one and use it as a declumper. And then I'm going to take that mascara again and just put a little bit on the bottom. And just a little. Wise, I usually wear this or oops, I have a clump or chapstick. And this is the L'Oreal Bare Natural um lip conditioner. Love this. Such a like cool pump thing. And I apply a little bit of that. There you go. So there is my finished look. I already did my foundation. I said that would be in a separate video. So, um, just the eyes, the mascara, eyeliner, super basic, super, um, they're not time consuming at all. It takes me about five or six minutes in the morning to do, and I will post a few pictures after this, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Please check out my other videos, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.